So this week my main goal was get optimal perks on my range gear. I currently have a setup of precise 6 equilibrium 4 on my weapons, biting 2 crackling 4 on my chest, and impatient 4 enhanced devoted 4 on my legs. I'm looking to change this to precise 6 aftershock 1 on my main hand, caroming 4 equilibrium 2 on my offhand, biting 4 relentless 5 crackling 4 on my chest, and impatient 4 mobile enhanced devoted 4 on my legs. I started off aiming for my offhand perks caroming 4 equilibrium 2 as before I stopped playing runescape my last upgrade was obtaining greater ricochet but I quit the game before getting caroming so now it's time to make up for that. Greco and caroming go hand in hand this is a much needed upgrade. I didn't have the 2500 Sliske rep to discover the shadow components blueprint so I headed down towards God Wars dungeon 2 and did some bounties to obtain as much Sliske rep as possible. After my bounties were completed, I began farming the mobs around the dungeon for ingression fragments. I had my insignia set to auto collect them, and after obtaining about 16k ingression fragments, I summoned nothing but large reinforcements and got to 2500 Sliske rep. This unlocked the blueprint for shadow components, which is a component needed to make the Karoming 4 Equilibrium 2 perk. The shadow components come from disassembling item level 9 shadow glaives, so I purchased a set of them and did ED3 trash runs with an XP capacitor and a scrimshaw of sacrifice. Levels were quick, took about 3.5 runs. At 120 invention with an extreme pop, my chance of getting this perk is 29.55%. Yeah, this is why it's so important to get 120 invention before trying for the higher tier perks, because if you don't have 120 and the extreme pot, your chances are even lower. Luckily I got it on my first attempt, so no need to purchase another set of shadow glaives. Next up is my main hand perks, precise 6 after shock 1. For these perks I'll need 7 armadillo and 2 illajunkin components. Luckily I had enough armadillo components for one attempt, so for the illajunkin components, I bought a dragon rider lance and hit 83 once again. Now for this perk I have a 59.53% chance of getting it, much better chances than the previous, somehow I failed the first attempt. So I was gonna need more armadillo components. I had my old armadillo set in my bank, I just grabbed that, hit ED3, disassembled my armadillo for the parts, hit my invention pot and the second goal was a success. Moving on to my leg perks. I already have enhanced devoted 4, this perk isn't too difficult to obtain and I've had it since my budget setup. Now I also already have Impatient 4, but I would like to upgrade it to Impatient 4 Mobile to cut my Surge and Dive abilities cooldowns in half. For the Zamorak components needed, I disassembled my old Subjugation armor that I already had leveled in my bank. And for the Zaros components, I purchased a Virtus Wand and hit ED3 once again. The best chances for this perk are done a little differently. I need to go right outside of God Wars Dungeon 1 and allow my Invention level to drop to 110. Once it hits 110, I tele out, prepare my Ancient Armor Gizmo, and wait for my Invention level to get back up to 112. Once it hits 112, I start attempting for the perk. I have a 30.85% chance to get this perk when I'm in between levels 112 and 113. Luckily, I got it on my third attempt. The final and most expensive piece, my chest perks. Binding 4, Relentless 5, Crackling 4. Obtaining Relentless 5, Crackling 4 was simple enough. All it needs is vintage components, which I bought off the Grand Exchange until I successfully got the perk. The chances to get it are pretty low, at about 5%. I got the perk on my 19th attempt. Now I was down to 294 mil and biting 4 requires disassembling a noxious weapon. Cheapest noxious weapon is currently the staff at 264 mil. But the issue I had is when I went to purchase my bond, they were at about 82 mil so I held off on it. I took a second to look at the bonds and they were back down to 70 mil. So I purchased one, securing my membership but I was no longer able to afford the noxious staff. I hit 81 to make some GP and finish off my perks. Not having any of my new chest perks, I was already breaking my old PBs. I even 2 cycled Seryu without an aura, which I was never capable of doing before. On my 4th run, I got a massive 118 ancient scales drop, it was pretty awesome. I got the notification that I hit 110 range, got the new PB and 118 ancient scales all in the same kill. Felt great. Here's what my chest looked like after about 2 hours of 81. So with my newfound wealth, I headed straight to the Grand Exchange, bought the Noxious Staff, and hit 83 once again. After getting it to item level 9, my soul cried a bit as I disassembled it, and the chances of this perk at my level is 100%. So I successfully finished my perking setup on my range gear, and boy was it worth it. Teaser to my next video is blurred out in the background right now. I was able to finally get something I've wanted so bad. If you guys can guess what it is, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to catch the next episode, hit that like button, and follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash chrismello underscore. That's it for me. I appreciate y'all. Peace.